Remember the waiting period for an FAA license for Starship's first orbital attempt? And even between the first and second launches of Starship, that is, months if not years of anticipation, right? However, everything had changed. SpaceX had the third attempt just in four months. The company has also confirmed the next launch can happen as soon as five weeks from now. We all know that this is thanks to the results of each test, however. What SpaceX President Gwyn Shotwell did with Starship launch license is absolutely more important than you think. Find out everything about about this in today's episode of TechMap. Firstly, it is no exaggeration to say that Shotwell is truly a talented diplomat. In 2002, Shotwell joined SpaceX, the pioneering private aerospace company founded by Elon Musk. As one of its early members, she played a pivotal role in laying the groundwork for the company's future endeavors. Shotwell's unwavering dedication and invaluable contributions culminated in her appointment as president of SpaceX in 2008, a position she has since held with distinction. Today, she serves as the president and chief operating officer, COO of SpaceX, wielding considerable influence and steering the company towards unprecedented achievements in the realm of space exploration. Throughout her extensive tenure at SpaceX spanning over two decades, Shotwell has been a driving force behind every Every major project, including the groundbreaking Starship Initiative and the ambitious Mars colonization endeavor. Gwen Shotwell's contributions to SpaceX are multifaceted, with her influence particularly pronounced in two key domains, business and diplomacy. On the business front, Shotwell adeptly navigates the financial landscape, devising strategies to generate revenue essential for funding colossal undertakings like Starship. Despite Elon Musk's ambitious goal of launching each Starship for a mere $2 million, Achieving this target remains a distant prospect. The overall cost of the Starship system, though substantially lower than counterparts like NASA's SLS, still amounts to a significant investment, estimated at up to $5 billion. Furthermore, the Mars colonization plan entails a myriad of subsystems and preparatory measures, each bearing substantial costs. In response to this financial imperative, Shotwell and the SpaceX team devised a transformative solution, Starlink, this renowned system serves as a vital revenue stream, providing the necessary financial foundation to nurture ambitious projects like Starship until they can become profitable ventures in their own right. Through her astute business acumen and visionary leadership, Shotwell has played an instrumental role in shaping SpaceX's trajectory towards success and sustainability in space exploration. Indeed, Starlink has emerged as a cornerstone of SpaceX's revenue stream, a significant feat given the inherent financial challenges faced by aerospace companies. Despite the considerable expenses associated with endeavors like Starship and Mars colonization, Starlink has played a pivotal role in bolstering SpaceX's financial standing. In just over three Three years since its deployment, Starlink facilitated SpaceX's first reported profit in the first quarter of last year. As the system continues to expand, its contributions are poised to further fortify SpaceX's pursuit of the red dream of Martian colonization. In addition to revenue generation, Shotwell and Elon Musk envisioned Starship to be a paradigm of reusability, a feat previously unparalleled in the aerospace industry. This revolutionary rocket embodies cost optimization principles, leveraging inexpensive materials such as stainless steel and engines powered by methane. These design choices not only reduce production costs, but also position Starship as a formidable competitor to other aerospace organizations. By pioneering innovative solutions and challenging conventional norms, Well and Musk have propelled SpaceX to the forefront of the space exploration arena, driving progress toward their audacious vision of a sustainable and multiplanetary future. Gwyn Shotwell's exceptional negotiating prowess has been instrumental in SpaceX's success, particularly in navigating the complexities of regulatory processes. Her adeptness in diplomacy has facilitated productive collaborations with agencies like NASA, FAA, FCC, and more since the inception of SpaceX, resulting in numerous lucrative contracts. Regarding the Starship project, Shotwell's diplomatic skills have been pivotal in securing the necessary launch licenses from the FAA, a formidable task in itself. Despite initial skepticism following Following the first flight in April, the successful completion of the IFT-2 flight in 2023 demonstrated SpaceX's ability to overcome regulatory hurdles and execute ambitious missions. While Shotwell's contributions may not always garner public attention, 
Her influence behind the scenes is undeniable. Currently, I do not doubt that Shotwell diligently worked to have the approval process for Flight 3. Given her track record and credibility, she helped SpaceX swiftly garner FAAA approval, further solidifying SpaceX's momentum toward achieving its ambitious goals. She even pushed the FAA to approve more and more Starship launches in the upcoming time. Speaking at the Space Capital 3 event by payload on March 18, Elvin Coleman, FAA Associate Administrator for Commercial Space Space transportation expected SpaceX to quickly provide a mishap investigation report, noting that after the second Starship flight, the company completed that report in several weeks. We expect the same to be the case here. We didn't see anything major. We don't think there's any critical systems for safety that were implicated. The FAA has updated SpaceX's Starship launch license after every flight to date to reflect changes in the mission, such as the different suborbital trajectories used on the most recent flight. However, Coleman said the agency wants to move to a process where the license license is valid for a portfolio of launches rather than individual ones. That is particularly important, he added, because SpaceX is planning six to nine more Starship launches this year. That is part of a broader effort to streamline the launch licensing process to address criticism from industry and Congress that the FAA is moving too slowly on approving launch licenses under a new set of regulations known as Part 450. Coleman announced at the FAA Commercial Space Transportation Conference on February 21 that the agency would establish an Aerospace Rulemaking Committee, or SPARS, to formally collect industry input on ways to improve Part 450. Shotwell, on the conference panel, did not mention how many Starship launches the company project's making this year, but said the focus is on getting the vehicle operational. I'd love to get Starship into orbit, deploying satellites, and recover both stages, she said, with rapid turnaround on those stages as well. Wow! Gwyn Shotwell, much like Elon Musk, possesses a bold and ambitious vision for the future of space exploration. Her statement in early 2023 encapsulated this audacity. Why can't we build a rocket every day? This ambitious goal epitomizes SpaceX's relentless pursuit of innovation and efficiency in the realm of rocket production. While the notion of constructing a rocket within a day may seem fantastical to many, Shotwell's unwavering determination underscores SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of possibility. This audacious objective aligns with SpaceX's overarching mission of building the largest and most powerful rocket in the world, the Starship. Indeed, achieving such a high frequency frequency of rocket production will be imperative if SpaceX intends to launch hundreds or even thousands of starships annually, facilitating humanity's journey to Mars or the Moon within the next eight years. To realize Shotwell's ambitious goals, SpaceX continues to expand and upgrade its launch, production, and testing systems. Shortly, Starbase is poised to emerge as the epicenter of rocket innovation and advancement, solidifying SpaceX's position as a trailblazer in the aerospace industry. Additionally, Gwyn Shotwell's influence extends far beyond the realm of Starship, permeating numerous facets of SpaceX's operations. From the outset, Shotwell emphasized the importance of recruiting exceptional and dedicated employees, a fundamental aspect crucial to SpaceX's future growth and success. Under her leadership, SpaceX has expanded exponentially, boasting a workforce of over 13,000 employees and achieving billions of dollars in revenue annually over more than two decades of development. This growth trajectory underscores Shotwell's managerial prowess and strategic acumen, ensuring SpaceX's sustained trajectory toward innovation and excellence in the aerospace industry. One of Shotwell's notable achievements was securing SpaceX's first commercial resupply services contract from NASA in 2008. This milestone not only solidified SpaceX's standing as a premier choice for NASA, but also paved the way for subsequent lucrative contracts, bolstering the company's revenue streams. Furthermore, her adept negotiation skills led to SpaceX's participation in the commercial crew program, enabling the company to transport astronauts and scientific equipment to the International Space Station. Perhaps most notably, SpaceX's historic launch of astronauts to Earth orbit in 2020 marked at a watershed moment, ending America's reliance on Russia for crewed spaceflight. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. If you want to explore more aspects of the world's most powerful rockets and the world of rockets in general, here is a selection of deeper dive videos for you. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time.